On the latest report from Radley Balco, an organic farm in Arlington, Texas, was the target of a massive SWAT raid in early August when police spent 10 hours searching for marijuana plants. But they didn't find any pot plants. Instead, they see 17 blackberry bushes, 15 okra plants, 14 tomatillo plants, among other delicious fruits and vegetables. It appears now that the police used the raid to enforce code violations that included unkempt bushes and dilapidated buildings at the Garden of Eden Farm. So, Arthur, this is one of the latest examples of police using paramilitary tactics to enforce small violations here. Right, and this is something that happens so frequently uh, in so many parts of the country that our colleague Radley Balco has a book out basically about this. It's called Rise of the Warrior Cop, and I highly recommend it. Yeah, in, in this case, the police said after the fact, oh, we were looking for marijuana. And then, and then apparently there had also been complaints from the neighbors that the upkeep of this property was, you know, bringing the neighborhood down. So uh, you and send you in the, the SWAT place. team. That's what you do when you get those complaints. You send in armed, militarized, militarized, I just said militarized, Arthur, militarized police. Right, uh, uh, to basically go after this guy who looks like Jesus. Uh, and, and, and yeah, this is something that happens all the time. They have SWAT teams, so they use them. And they don't need to use them for this kind of thing, but it, it's, you know, it's, it, I hate to say it, but it, 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 it frequently looks like cops just wanting to be macho and use the tools that they have. Uh, but it's, it's hard to imagine any plausible justification for a SWAT team raid in this case, given the fact that they, they didn't find any drugs, there was no violence or anything like that alleged in the first place, uh, it, it, and, and this is something that happens all the time, and there's never, there, there's, there's always these kinds of mistakes. So uh, definitely something that will contribute to the debate over the increasing use of SWAT teams and probably increased public skepticism for the practice.